I tell you now, if a caveman comes running out of there with a bone in his hand going ugga ugga ugga, see them fields over there? You'll see me running along the top of them fields with sparks coming out of my shoes. <laughs> Yeah, I got some anti-vandal paint on my hand before everybody, but I wiped it off, so it's all water under the bridge now. <laughs> the one corn bridge. How'd you make Let's do it. Hello everybody, hope you're all well. I'm out again, the head case with the camera. Right, today we are in Flotsam Case. I'm going to give you a little go around this place now. I'll let you know a secret. I've already been around and done it and I made you the video just so that I forgot to do the intro. <laughs> so I'm doing it now on the way out. Yes, I've been around here and had a little look and it's just, it's alright. Cracking that place down the back there. Um, gotta get down like a little hole, a little hole in the wall and then get to the back of it. And yeah, it's all right, isn't it? It's all right, isn't it? Very impressive to look at. So, you'll see that in the video. Now, I've got my torch. Wow, look at this. No. Everybody put the names in it. View out of that. Look back a bit. Wow. Either way, it's um, it's like I guess they are the wind this year. Quite weathered. Right. Let's go then. There's actually um, livestock gets stored in here as well. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, right, can't have those the holes in that. We've been partying down here. Little holes into it. I think apparently that's for the livestock. It's all of it. Yeah. It's so cool. Right, now for the interesting bit. I'll come back and show you around here again in a bit. We need to go down here now. Sandstone. Mr. Moth. Or Mrs. Moth. We're cracking that there. Right the way along. <laughs> yeah, sandstone. It's quite light, isn't it? Sandstone, it's not.
Let's get that fireworks in that over there. Look at that. There's names everywhere you look. Yeah. So Oh you can't actually get another hole. Look. Every 60 feet to bring the kids up here as well if you wanted to, to walk around it's you know it's not dangerous. The kids love running around up here. Just as long as they don't bump the reds. That's a little bit of a drop. Oh wow, see the way the grass is coming through there. <laughs> yeah. Right. This is gonna be a place for the photo later. The B.O. I am not going in there for all these reasons. Look how smooth it's gone with. People climbing up here. These are, mass, these are meant to be absolutely huge as well, everybody. But this is only the bit you can get into. The old tin. Is it? Can't I know. It's just pain, isn't it? The way the columns are, see the way they've, they've got like little um, arches not in them holes in them. Why, why would they build that like that? Because this, this is man-made. It's not natural. It's really strange how they've left stuff with them um, holes in that, like there. I don't know if you can see if I can find anything else. Right,
Jesus. No slip. It's gonna get windy up here, I think, now. There you go. I did read online that there's some quarrying done around here. So I'm guessing that's what this was. This is actually mentioned in the Doomsday book, this place. Uh, as long as well, sorry, as Frodium, which is also on it. Give me a sec. Photo time. Oh well, yeah, I did. <laughs> I made it just in time. <sighs> it's like you get like eight years ago, don't it? Like a, you know, cavemen. You know what I mean? A little community of cavemen and women and their little children all living in here, keeping away from the dinosaurs. That's what the rock formations remind me of. See, me one night, the big T Rex popping his head through that window, through the window, through the hole there. Look over to there. We've seen him, um, seen all the marks on the thing of it's all being made out. You know, the little scrapes. They're all individual. Every one of them is a hand movement with the tool that they used to carve these out. Every one of them lines is a hand movement. From someone long, long time gone. Look at the way he's fitted in with the colour of the rock. A chameleon moth. There you go, be. Right, I am going to put my stuff back into my bag and we'll head into. Oh, come on, look at that for the thumbnail. Uh, no way. So I'll head into one corner because I've got a lot of work to do with one corner. There's a lot of skeleton, a lot of climbing walls, a lot of climbing fences. And then. We've got a bridge to walk over, because I'm going to walk us across the Moncourt Bridge. It's closed, I mean, there's no cars on it, I'm going to come across just buses. And it's open to the public, so you can walk across and I'll get us some nice views. Now, I don't do heights, remember, I, I, get, I get frightened just sitting on the toilet, it's that high. But I'm going to give this a go now. Years ago, my auntie Jane, a lot of my family, to be honest, including my nan, 
lived in one corner for years and years and years. I'd gone right back since before my granddad died. She was back in 84, so the family's lived there for up in one corner for a long time. I remember my Auntie Jean used to always turn around and say to me, when we go to the one corner bridge, you don't go along the road, but you go over the top like that. And I used to hide in the, in the back seat, but we got used to it in the end. So, thank you very much, Auntie Jean, for giving me numerous nightmares. I will see you with Frodsman, if you see anything nice on Frodsman. I'll get a camera out and I'll show you. Oh. Hello, Ping on Green. Yes, out the sticks a little bit here. Three miles into town, so. Follows me everywhere, then, you know. Everywhere I go. He's always one step in front of me. So, part of Frodsman High Street. It's got to the railway bridge. Look at these. Stanlow's only up the road, isn't it? It's been like a Stanlow community, no doubt. All the workers will probably live around here. The bears four down the bottom is it? Oh it's my bus. Next 30. Ah. Well, some high street. Yes, hello everybody. Whoa, what's up with that? I think I'll go. I better. I've got professional. <laughs> yes, hello everybody. I am now down at the Bone Corn Bridge, which you can see behind me, which we will be walking over soon. Uh, I'll finish the video on the other side and I'll walk us over there in a bit and I'll show you some views. But yes, when I came off camera after the caves, it's been about two and a half hours since then. It only took me 15 minutes to get back into the one corner from Vradrum, it's, it's not far at all. But I've just been in an abandoned building. And my auntie Jean will know it. Right facing one corner shopping city. Big massive place. It took me two and a half hours to get out of there. I tell you. Huge. Uh, big rooms in it and all that sort of stuff. So you get to see that one next week. So I finally got that. Really sketchy getting in. It's hard as hell to get in. Sketchy doesn't come into it. But yeah, come on, with a bit of anti vinyl paint on me. So I'm climbing over there. Barbed wire and that, yeah, the fences weren't good either. Well, I got it, I got it. Anyway, so I'm gonna head over there now. And I'll speak to you when I get on the other side of the bridge. We are gonna be walking along that green. The green thing, you can see some people just walking along it just, just here now. So we're gonna walk. Well, I think somebody said to me you can walk the railway one, but I don't think you can. Yeah, now see the wall here. Yeah. See the see the see the uh, the brown wall that goes to there. Maybe a little bit more of here as well. This is why I've brought you down. Because not many people in Liverpool will know. And if you don't, ask yourself a question: How did they get people across the crossing here before the Jubilee was built? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna tell you. Now what I'm going to do everybody is walk it over to the other side. I'm going to because I want to show you a few bits over there. Now, I've got all the information here. I've got it written down in my bag as well, but it's there for you. That's what I want to talk to you about. The transporter bridge that was here before the road bridge was built. That's how you used to get across. There's a photograph of it there, the transporter bridge. Some footage. The Windows to One Corn Transporter Bridge was completed in 1905. It was Britain's first transporter bridge and the largest ever built in the world. It continued in use until the 22nd of July 1961 when it was replaced by the Silver Jubilee Bridge. The transporter bridge was then demolished. At the beginning of the 20th century, the only means of crossing the river at the One Corn Gap were by rail on the One Corn Railway Bridge, which also had a footpath or by using an ancient ferry and a rowing boat. The cost of building the transporter bridge between 1904 and 1905 was £130,000, equivalent to £14.8 million in 2021. 
Several improvements were made to the bridge over the years and in its later years it made 49,000 journeys annually carrying 280,000 cars, 145,000 commercial vehicles and over 2 million passengers. The two towers were 150 feet high and the distance between them spanned by a truss was 1,000 feet. The transporter car was 55 feet long and 24 feet 6 inches wide. It was designed to carry 4 two-horse farm wagons and 300 passengers. A shelter was provided for the passengers. The journey from one side to the other side took 2.5 minutes. I just want to say as well, these little buildings that I said they were ticket officers, I'm reading it here now, they're not actually ticket officers, they're actually powerhouses and they're both being grade 2 uh, designated by English Heritage. And that's how they used to get across here. Yeah. Put cars on it and trucks used to go on it and things like that. And you'd, you'd hang down, it used to be like, like it used to go from over there. Right, let me zoom in for you. You can see little sea remnants of the old wall, you can see it on this side as well, which I'm going to take you in a minute. But see there? See them two buildings? Well, I want to take you to the ones on this side. So you can see it's got a little bit of bumps on it there, giving you the info. You've got, I was right, 1863 to 1868, and you Jubilee Bridge, which is this one here, 1956 to 61. It's quite surprising, isn't it? They only built it then and got, and you know, and took the transporter bridge out of use in the 60s. Do you think it would have been replaced a long time before then? Anybody had a pint in there? A snig. Transport, we've done that one, didn't we? St Mary's Parish Church, that's that one there. And of course the Manchester Ship Canal, which is right in front of us. There's an energy which is also in front of us. The Fiddler's Ferry, now. What about the power station? Need that. Get to pause it if we move it down. Yeah, now it's this bottom bit that gets me. Look at this. Fiddler's Ferry is situated in Penketh, but there is some mystery surrounding the name. The most popular story is that it comes from a corrupt corruption of the name of the original owner of the land, Adam Lee, well, yeah, Royler, or Fiddler, as he owned the rights to the ferry. It was the Fiddler's Ferry. Which right. is short now, isn't it? Fiddler's Ferry. And then of course you've got the new one. Yes. So, I'm going to take a walk across there now. Over to that side, so I can show you a few bits over there. Yeah, I got some anti-vandal paint on my arm before everybody, but I wiped it off, so... It's all water under the bridge now. <laughs> Look at that there. Can you see me for you? Ah. There you go. So if you've ever seen, ever been over the top of it, it is underneath. <laughs> Very intimidating. It really is. Very intimidating. Just been given a multi million pound makeover. You can hear the cars going over the top. <laughs> uh, just there. Is there a joint? Look at the railway bridge. Good that on it.
Right? Let's go and get on it. I'm just on the bridge now, everybody. Make me way across. I sort of think it's so quiet this road now, though. There's only a few cars going up and down it. Compared to what it used to be like. Right. Don't forget, I don't like heights, but it's only 82 feet apparently, or something like that. Oh, well, I better not move. See, what'd be great flying along here on a push bike though. <laughs> That's where we were just down there underneath the load. There. Yeah. I thought I saw over there just by that bridge. A little bit there. Uh, staying right in the middle. Uh, okay, stop. Uh, I'm casting fingers. Yeah, so that's the green paint that they use on this all the time. Is it green? What colour is that? You reckon everybody leave it in the comment box below. What colour do you think that is? Look at that. Hi, <laughs> right, we're over the Manchester Ship Canal. What does that mean there? Hi. Right. I wouldn't really be too concerned about it being a criminal offence to climb on the bridge. I'd rather be more concerned about falling and losing your life. <sighs> I always see that on the train. I always wonder what it was, that emblem. See? You don't really get this game right until you're there. This one reminds me of the bridge over Newcastle. They're very, they're very similar, aren't they? Yeah, but the one at Newcastle is a little bit... The span's shorter. But they're very, they're very the same. Look at that dirty big cloud there. Yeah, you know my luck. Right in the middle of the, right in the, middle of the bridge, it'll open. Just lash it down. <sighs> so I'll tell you when we're in the middle. There's, there's got to be a mark here or something. Maybe. Oh, don't look up. That's got to be the middle. This next one. Because it starts to come down again from there. Now there's the middle of the bridge. Right there. Right then. Right up. There's more here. She's coming down there. And then... Other side. But look at this though, we're not actually in the middle of the Mersey. Just the wall's only there, look. So the middle of the, the middle of the bridge is not actually in the middle of the Mersey. the middle. <laughs> there you go. So this is the middle of the bridge. It's still not in the middle of the bridge though, is it really? 
Oh, that one's ready. So we're right in the middle now. I mean, there's water in now, but normally it's just mud, isn't it? How quiet the road is now though everybody, compared to what it used to be like. It was getting hammered this bridge, wasn't it? It really was. I remember years ago coming up to one corner see me now. And they built a big um, big industrial like site here, but a big massive chimney. Do you remember the big concrete chimney that was here? Well they'd only just finished building that. Um they built the whole site and I watched that chimney getting put up bit by bit. And then I remember going past and watching it with all, all the red lights on the top of it. I'm looking at it now, it's gone. <laughs> I wonder what it was. Anybody ever remember that, that chimney that was there? Right in front of us, it would have been. And now it's gone. Ah, that sign that was over there, was like the coat of arms, that must be like the Cheshire sign because if you see it, You've got the coat of arms of the liver build, liver bit. Just there. See? So that must represent the liver build side. And the chest side. Oh, my battery light. One sec. Right, new battery. Yeah, you made it. That's where we're going down there. Little the builders. Oh, right. I like to think they're having a really good natter about something. You know what I mean? Alright, Frank, how you doing, fella? <laughs> Seen you for a while, mate. Eh? <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, I'll come to check out the new colour scheme on the bridge. <laughs> right, we're there now. See all the bits of bobs in the tunnel down there. And there you go, the one corn bridge walk. Something I've never ever done, but always wanted to, and I've done it. The transporter bridge officers. And this is where I went from just here. Here's the Mersey pub. I'm um, sorry about the wind, everybody. It's very windy down here. But this, I'll come back to all. I'll come back to all this bit for you in a minute. But this. This is where the transporter bridge was many years ago. Well, yeah. Oh, windy. Look at that. How about So you have the pub, and then if you pan around, you have the bridge itself. Look at that. And then just here, you also have the tunnel. 
with my favourite tiles in it, them white tiles, the smooth ones. <laughs> yeah. And this is just used for getting your boat up and down. If you want to bring your boat down here. Yeah. I'm not going any further because I'm just going to get covered in mazy mud. Yes, so this is where we're all up with the transport and the just shouldn't be too much of Of course, that's where we were over there, just thank you. Uh, anyway, I don't know where they that. Uh, eh? Which is dead level. Look at this here. I'll come to that one. Let's go and have a little look at what we can see here. <laughs> see, it's been some type of old industrial stuff here. Maybe something to do with the transporter bridge itself. Don't know. With this, see the way it's got a little steps. And a little square thing. It's always been a little building on it. A little step, just a step up. Be a toilet. The bridge used to go across before they built the bridge. It swung out right across here and it used to, used to hang in like, in like a thingy, like a platform while the rope's coming down and it used to slowly go across. It used to take about 10 minutes apparently to get all the boats across. I'll see you up here and I'll show you the rest of the stuff. This is actually what you call the runway apparently. Because this is where these, the cars used to come down. Yeah, the transporter bridge, and they'd line up here, yeah, all your goods and your, 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 you know, your, your horse drawn cart and things like that. And then when the transporter bridge came over, you'd come off a bit, a bit like a roll on roll off ship, only you're hung in the air, and you'd come off and drive off. It's not the best to see this, I'm afraid, everybody. You yeah, really can't see none. You need to go clean. Yeah, but this is where you used to get the transport effect there. Transport the bridge over before they built the bridge. But like I said before, I'm quite surprised they built it that late on. Do you know what I mean? You think they would have replaced it? There's a. I don't know if you can see it. Oh no. Freight, big freight train going over the bridge. Transporter bridge is no more. So I thought I'd just share a little bit of history with you because not many people know there used to be a transporter bridge here. People automatically think when you speak about the one corn bridge, oh, it's been there for a while, you know, but it hasn't. 1961, it's still, I mean, that's out of date, like I just said, but not many people know that it was actually a transporter bridge going from witness to one corn for years. And that was the main way of getting goods over. I only got the idea to come down and do this about six weeks ago. I mentioned to somebody, you've been, what transporter bridge? I said, the one that was next to the one corn bridge before it was built. Don't know what you're talking about. What was it like in the wind? You know, because it, it hung. So, did it sway? Things like this. You know, but you can just imagine everything queued up and you're now looking to get over on the uh, bridge. But of course, the tunnels, the tunnels were built a long time before they knocked down the transporter bridge. A long time. And of course the estuary behind is yet it widens. So the next crossing would be 
on the Manchester Ship Canal somewhere, somewhere down that way. That's a lot, it's a long way. So if you think about 1955, it was still in use. It was still getting, you know, goods. It was still getting put on it, onto it and taken across the trucks and wagons and maybe the odd bus. The way these were built by the fellas, they were up there, they had no safety ropes, no harnesses, nothing like that. I used to go up there with um, a suit on, didn't he? And uh, a flat cap. And you just get on with it, you just hang off the side and bang things in, you weren't bothered about heights, nothing like that. And of course, once they built that, you had to take the other one down. And the wind and the rain, nothing, nothing frightening them, you know. And they got up there and they got on it. And getting, I'm guessing this one would have been a little bit more advanced technology, uh, technology wise while they were putting that on. 1960s, you know, we, we, had, we had jet planes then, so. And we'd be in the moon, stuff like that, so, you know. The difference between that and the transporter bridge, if you look at the transporter bridge, you can tell it's old, really old. What you've got to think about as well is this, is that if they hadn't built that bridge, and you hadn't built a new one, and you were still using the transporter bridge, you'd have Tesco vans and <laughs> co-op trucks parked up here and fuel trucks like that. If you wanted to go to one corner to see you now, and you were on the bus, you'd have to get the 79 to here to get across. I am going to head home now, make sure the cat has another party. If you're new to the channel, and you like the caves, and you like the bridge, there's more to come. Hit the subscribe button for us and hit the notification bell as well. Hit the bell and hit all for me and you'll get notified next time I put a video up. Hit the like button, very important for me to hit that like button. Um, if you like, only make me the channel better and the content better to use. If you want to support me in the channel, support me on that as well. Buy me a coffee. Yeah, I enjoyed coming out today, it was a good, good day. Um, I wanted to get the caves and that. I've got a bonus with that big building, which I'll see you next week. So stay safe. Stay safe, maybe I'll let them know what a little sign here. Stay safe, take it easy, and I will see you all. I'll see you for the big building. I don't think I'll see the big building next week. It's the same day as today. <laughs> yeah, so take it easy, stay safe, and I will see you all very, very soon. From the one bridge.